Hey, what's up folks? Ray Hollister here for Ray's drive Through Reviews. If you've seen the show before, you know how this works. I check out the latest specials at fast food joints and let you know what they taste like and if they're worth buying. So I just got done with a job where I had to wear all black, as you can see, and I stopped by Taco Bell to check out the Doritos Cheesy Gordita Crunch. Basically what they did is they took the Doritos Locos Tacos and stuck them inside a gordita shell and some cheese. Uh, so I think it should taste pretty good, I guess. I'll try it out, we'll find out. Here we go. So I got the box, so you can see they're doing a little special for uh, Destiny on the PS4. But uh, I got the whole thing, but I'm just gonna tell you what the Doritos Gordita tastes like. Because, I mean, everything else is pretty much the same. Let's see here, you get three options. I got the soft taco, because I like soft tacos. And this, I think it is, there it is, okay. So I like this, that they didn't stick it in that crazy cardboard shell that it comes in, the, the Doritos Locos. Which, if you're not familiar with it, the Doritos Locos, and obviously the Doritos Cheesy Gordita Crunch, uh, it's a regular taco shell, but it's dusted with the Doritos flavor. So this one's got nacho, they also got the fiery, I didn't see the ranch, but they do have the cooler ranch and the Doritos Locos. So here we go, gonna test it out. If I manage not to spill any of this on my black shirt, it's gonna be a miracle. So they may have improved their recipe for the tacos because it's a lot crispier. It tastes a lot better than I've had before. The Doritos flavor actually is a little lost in the Gordito shell. The Gordita, of course, you know, it's very soft and has a great texture to it, but it kind of loses the flavor of the Doritos. It gets lost all in that mix of dough. It still tastes pretty good. I mean, you know, Doritos shells taste good, but uh, it almost seems like it needs a little bit extra Doritos flavoring. I don't know. <laughs> There it goes. Oh, I managed not to spill it. Okay, here's what I'll say. As you eat more, the Doritos flavor gets stronger and stronger. So I take back what I said before. It doesn't need extra seasoning. It's just enough. Compared to the regular Gordita Crunch, it, it is a, a good bit better. I'm not a big fan of the Gordita Crunch though, so, you know, it's kind of hard to measure that. But I'd give it a six or a seven. Yeah, I'd give it a seven. It, it, it's pretty good. It, it's definitely a little bit better than the regular Gordita Crunch. It's still, you know, nothing exciting or crazy, but it's a nice change of pace. If you like the Gordita Crunch, I would definitely say go ahead and check it out. If you like the Doritos Locos though, I'd say stick with that if the reason you enjoy it is because of the flavor, because it loses a little bit of the flavor in the Gordita Crunch. But if you like the Gordita Crunch and you like the Loco, give it a shot. It's pretty tasty, pretty good. There you go, folks. Taco Bell's Doritos Cheesy Gordita Crunch is pretty good, not too bad. It's marginally better than the regular Gordita Crunch. And if you enjoy the Doritos Locos taco shell, you'll enjoy it. Of course, as you know, I say it all the time. If you enjoy these videos, make sure to like them on YouTube. Make sure to subscribe to my channel on YouTube and check out my other videos. For Ray's drive through Reviews, I'm Ray Hollister.